Hi guys, welcome to this uh, short video. So this is a capsule video, which means a short video. So I'm going to discuss uh, the meaning of frequency and the understanding of frequency in the next 10-15 minutes. Okay. So focus on this guys to understand frequency very well. So I used to have this uh, 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 means idea of understanding frequency properly. So because frequency is a word which we use very frequently. So in engineering, especially if you are an electronic student or electrical student, so frequency is a word which we hear a lot of times, right? In many subjects we listen to it. But uh, I was uh, I was uh, feeling like so I'm listening to this these many number of times. But what is exactly the meaning of this? Okay, by using Fourier transform, uh, we talk about frequency. When we talk about Fourier transform, we talk about frequency. But what exactly is this frequency? I was uh, wondering about what it is. So and then I got some understanding and some clarity on this frequency, so which I'm going to provide in this session. Right. So this is my introduction. Right. So let's understand what is frequency. So the definition that you you people will be saying is it's number of cycles per second. Yes, that is correct only. That is correct. But I'll give you a better definition here. I'll give you a better definition. But first, let us understand. I'll ask you a simple question here, okay? I'll ask you a simple question. I have given you a sinusoidal waveform. I have given you a periodic sinusoidal waveform. So let me say the time period of this waveform is one millisecond. It means the sinusoidal waveform repeats after every one millisecond, the same waveform repeats. Now, according to the given definition, whatever definition you have given me, based on that, can you tell me what is the time period of this waveform? It is one millisecond. And you know the relation between time period and frequency of a periodic waveform or sinusoidal waveform, it is 1 by t. Using that, you can find it as 1 by 1 milli. 1 milli means 10 power minus 3, which is equal to 1000 cycles per second. So, what is the frequency of the signal? It is 1000 cycles per second, or we, there is one more unit which we call it as hertz. So, the meaning of this is if you take one second duration, if you take one second duration, take to one second duration and if you observe try to count the number of cycles present in that it is 1000 cycles per second how many cycles are repeating how many times the signal is being repeated so that is what is frequency fine that is a very good understanding okay but from this let us make some more observations also okay let us make some more observations what if i decrease the time period what if i decrease the time period if we decrease the time period, let's say instead of one millisecond, let's say it may let us make it as 0.1 millisecond. Then what happens? Time period is 0.1 millisecond. What happens to frequency? What happens to frequency? Frequency becomes 10,000, 10,000 hertz or 10,000 cycles per second. Correct or not? If you reduce the time period by 10 times, what happens? The number of cycles that will fit in one second are increasing by 10 times. Correct? So frequency is increasing by 10 times. So as time period increases, frequency decreases. Similarly, the opposite also. As time period decreases, frequency increases. Right. Try to understand. As time period decreases, or as frequency increases, or as time period decreases or frequency increases, what is happening here? Is the signal changing fastly or not? Observe that term. When you decrease the time period. When you decrease the time period compared to this one, this one is changing fastly or not? Is the change happening faster or not? From positive to negative, negative to positive, positive to negative, is it happening much faster? Compared to this one, since the because the frequency is 10 times more here compared to the first waveform, the second waveform is having 10 times bigger frequency, which means it is 10 times faster. It is the changes that are happening in the second signal is 10 times faster because the frequency is 10 times more. So signal. What is the meaning of this? When you decrease the time period, when you decrease the time period, frequency increases. What, what is the meaning of frequency increasing? Signal changes faster. Similarly, as you increase time period, when you increase the time period, compared to this one, first one is having bigger time period. Bigger time period means it happens, it can happen slowly, right? Because time period is more means there's a lot of time to repeat. There's bigger, the same changes happen in bigger duration of time. So when frequency decreases, what it means is the changes that are happening in signal, the changes that are happening in signal that happen slowly, 
understand this uh, meaning in this perspective slow change fast change high frequency what does it indicate high frequency as frequency is more signal changes faster right so understand it this way high frequency always indicates a faster change high frequency always indicates a faster change and low frequency always indicates a slower change understand care so now next time onwards whenever you are seeing high frequency or low frequency understand it this way okay high frequency means okay how do how should you imagine the high frequency when somebody says high frequency is there in a signal it means that okay signal might be changing very fastly if somebody says low frequency is there in a signal okay signal might be changing slowly that is the way of understanding okay now i'll give you one more definition of uh, frequency that is rate of change rate whenever somebody says rate you can use the word speed whenever somebody is the, uh, if, if this is blocking uh, your view so it is rate of change of amplitude of the signal this is rate of change rate of change rate is always same as speed whenever somebody uses the word rate you can uh, you can substitute it with speed because rate and speed both are same terms they give the same meaning so rate of change of amplitude of the signal or the speed at which the amplitude changes the speed at which amplitude changes with respect to time that is what we can call as frequency the speed at which the amplitude is changing see this one the speed at which the amplitude is changing with respect to time is different in these two signals if the speed at which the amplitude changes is more the here the speed is more the speed at which the amplitude changes is more here compared to this one so that's why the frequency is also more the speed at which the signal amplitude changes that is given by frequency so frequency somebody tells us the frequency about frequency of some signal then you can understand how fast is the rate of change of signal or how fast the signal amplitude changes you can have that idea fine right. so let me take uh, some signal some practical signal which looks something like this So some practical signals will look uh, complicated in this way. It can be more complicated than this also. Just for your understanding sake, I've plotted this. So if you take my voice signal, it might look something like this or more complicated than this. It will not look like a sinusoidal, simple sinusoidal waveform. Like no practical signal looks like sim very simple like this. All practical signals are complicated. When you plot them, they look complicated. They are not simple like this, right? So here if you observe, a practical signal, Practical signals are not periodic signals, right? The voice signal, audio signal, video signal. These are not periodic signals. They don't repeat, okay? Right. If they don't repeat, then the concept of number of cycles per second is not valid. How many cycles are repeating for every second? That is what is defined as frequency. But this definition is valid only for only for sinusoidal signals that do periodic signals. Only for sinusoidal signals. Sinusoidal signals are basically periodic only. Only for sinusoidal signals, this is valid. But if you take some other periodic waveforms also, this frequency definition is not valid actually. But if you take square periodic square waveform, that does not have single frequency. That has multiple frequencies. Okay. So if you just say number of cycles per second, using that number of cycles per second, if you find the frequency in a periodic square waveform, that is not correct. Because the periodic square waveform not only has that frequency, but it has multiple other frequencies also. Right. So this definition is valid only for sinusoidal signals. So that's why I've given one more definition, which is valid for all signals. So using this definition, try to understand uh, frequency next time onwards. Here, what's the rate of change? Is the speed at which the amplitude changes? Slow, slow speed or faster speed? Here the speed is slow. Slow speed, uh, slow change in amplitude. The speed of change is less speed. Here, here it's the speed of which the amplitude changes is less, which means it always corresponds to low frequency slow changes correspond to low frequency and here if you observe sudden changes there sudden change here also sudden change this corresponds to high frequency slightly high frequency compared to this one this is slightly high okay high and low is always relative only okay if you take if you take something like this very sharp changes this will be much higher frequency much higher frequency based on how fast it is changing frequency will be different i'll give you some practical idea for example, if I'm when I'm speaking letters like uh, C or E, when you speak some letters like that C E, the change in sound is very smooth. C E. So if you look at this one, when you speak letters like T, 
Z. Z. Observe the amplitude. Uh, sound, sound change. Z means slowly the amplitude is increasing. Z. Suddenly it is increasing and suddenly it is decreasing. A fast change in, in amplitude is happening when you speak Z, T, D, some letters like that. So when you speak different letters, the change in, in, change in amplitude is different. Okay, so different letters sound different way because the, uh, the rate of change of amplitude is different when you speak different letters. So we don't speak a single letter, right? We speak multiple letters. When you speak multiple letters, you're speaking at uh, you're speaking at a different rate of speed, right? If you're speaking at different speeds, which means based on what letters you're speaking, you're speaking different frequencies. The frequency content of your voice signal is different at different times. So how many frequencies are present in voice signal? Many frequencies. Because we speak multiple words, multiple letters. When you speak different letters, we, the different frequencies are being produced. So in any practical signal like this, where the waveform is complicated, we can't directly find. So if I give some values, 1 millisecond here, 2 millisecond here, you can't find it. You can't find the frequencies present in this. You can only say by looking at the waveform, you can only say that, okay, low frequency, uh, when you look at this waveform is responsible for low frequency. And this waveform is responsible for high frequency. Only that much you can say. But you can't exactly calculate uh, from this waveform what frequency are present. You can't calculate. But you can do that only with the help of Fourier transform. With the help of Fourier transform, we can understand what frequencies are present in this signal. But, but to do that, you should have a mathematical equation for this. If there is a mathematical equation present for this one, then only we can find Fourier transform and we can understand what frequencies are present. Okay, right. So that is the idea. Next up. So I'm talking about frequency some of some practical signals. Okay, right. right. So voice, audio, video, uh, these are the practical signals uh, that we produce. So voice, voice signal has frequencies in the range of 300 hertz to 3.4 kilohertz. In some textbook, you might see some values which are slightly different from this, but uh, this is correct values. These are correct values. Similarly, for audio signal, the range of frequencies present in an audio signal are 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. You might say that, sir, voice and audio, they are looking same. So why are their frequency content different? Correct. Voice is something produced by vocal cord. Whatever our vocal cord produces, that is what we call as voice. Our vocal cord has a capacity of producing only these frequencies. Whereas audio means our audibility, audible capacity. What is the capacity of our ear? What frequencies can it understand? Audio means audible capacity. Audible capacity of ears. So this range of frequencies for human beings only. For if you take animals, their audio capacity might be different. They might be able to understand some different range of frequencies. They may not have the same understanding as us. Their range of frequencies that their ears are capable of understanding might be different. Okay. So our vocal capability and hearing capability both are different. Correct or not, sir? Whatever I can speak, that only I can listen to. Correct. Whatever you can speak, that you can listen to. But you can also listen to something else that you can't produce using your voice. Correct or not? For example, some musical instruments you are playing. Whatever music, sound musical instrument is uh, producing, that you can't produce with your vocal cord, right? Some experts might be able to produce some music, uh, some mimic artists. Those people might be able to produce, but they also cannot produce all the sounds, right? So our vocal capacity is different. We can only produce certain sounds, but uh, we can hear a lot of other sounds. We can hear all the mu whatever musical instruments are capable of playing. We can listen to them, okay? Because our capacity for listening is more. We can understand more frequencies than what we can speak. Similarly, for video, if you analyze the frequencies uh, in the video signal, it is 0 to 4.5 megahertz. These are the range of frequencies present in video signal. But in common thing in all signals is all messages, all messages, they have low frequencies. Correct or not? Are they having low frequency? 300 hertz. So 300, it is, but 300 is a relatively very small number. Okay. 20 hertz is a small number. So what the frequencies present in all message signals, all messages have a range of low frequencies. They definitely have low frequencies. All messages have low frequencies, but you have to mind this in unmodulated form. When you modulate, 
when you do modulation then the, the low frequencies will become high frequencies but messages in unmodulated which means unmodified form in unmodified form have low frequencies okay right so let's conclude this let me ask you a question before concluding any practical message signal what does it have does it have low frequencies does it have many frequencies or not does it have only very very high frequencies or single low frequency single low frequency not possible because any practical message does not uh, vary like a simple sinusoidal waveform it is complicated uh, shape any complicated shape has multiple frequencies so it's a single low frequency not possible only very high frequencies no practical messages they have low frequencies so second option third option is not true low frequencies yes correct does it have multiple frequencies or only one frequency yes it has many frequencies definitely but they don't did not mention clearly whether there, there are many high frequencies or many low frequencies but definitely there are multiple frequencies present in the message right so that's it guys from my side on the, in this uh, short session so i hope uh, this capsule session is very useful for you guys so try to understand the meaning of frequency the way uh, i have understood it okay thank you see you next time until then take care bye bye